Election day is two months away and residents in Newberry and Clarendon counties will have more than just candidates on their ballot. News 19's Becky Buds has the details on the penny tax proposals. On November 8th, Clarendon County residents will give their two cents on a one cent capital project sales tax. The tax, which will add one cent on every dollar, will fund 15 projects across the county. The biggest one being an $8 million countywide 911 call center that director of the Clarendon County Chamber of Commerce, Jenny Lee, says will decrease emergency response times. We have a large lake here in Clarendon County, so they could be doing rescues that involved uh, more re remote areas and more difficult situations such as on the lake. And the faster we can have those response times, the better everyone in the area is going to be. Though the recreational parks proposed in St. Paul, Paxville, and Somerton are why residents like Akiva Fort will be voting yes for the tax. To be able to have a recreational facility where these children can play and enjoy and grow, um, it just enhances overall of everything. In Newberry County, residents will be asked to continue the sales tax already in place. It will fund 12 projects across the county, the biggest being an $8 million new cell block building at the Newberry County Detention Center. So it's actually a way that we can uh, move the uh, population to a better, more secure facility while saving uh, quite a bit of money. Newberry County Sheriff Lee Foster explains maintenance crews are making almost daily repairs on heating and air conditioning, ceilings, and more. And there's going to be a time that we will eventually have to do this jail project. A majority of residents need to vote yes in order for the tax to pass. In Clarendon County, Becky Buds, News 19 WLTX. 26 counties currently have a penny sales tax, including Richland, Lexington, Orangeburg, and Sumter. The penny sales tax is named given to a 1% tax on an item. It isn't one penny per purchase. It's one penny for every dollar spent. So for a $20 purchase, you would pay an additional 20 cents. Penny taxes in different counties could be used for different purposes like roadway improvements or water and sewer improvements.